Hey guys, welcome back. We're um, going to Double Island this time, so we just it's the first time taking the van up the beach, so we'll see how it goes. But um, I thought Double Island's a good spot to start. We've picked low tide, so hoping we shouldn't have any dramas getting on. But we're just about to cross the barge and head over and start letting the tires down, so it should be a good couple of days away. We're just just letting the tires down so we thought we'd go probably 18 in the front about 23 in the back just because of the weight and um, we'll probably go another oh I'd say between 18 20 for the van as well um, it's definitely worth letting the van tires down just means they can sit on top of the sand a bit more so which is what we need we need sort of all the traction we can get so see how we go Alright, so we're just about to jump on the beach. We're just going through a tight little bit of track. It's hard to see. But um let's see how we go. We got we're gonna go low low range, second gear, and basically just sort of give it to the cruiser and hopefully we should be all sweet. So let's see how we go. Alrighty. I'll put the rear diff lock in so we'll see if that makes a bit of a difference. Alright, let's go. I'm going. Amber got stuck filming from the outside, so she's running back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that went well. I'm happy with that. So second gear, low range, rear diff lock on, just to give us a bit of extra traction, and we're all sweet. So here we are up at Double Island. So it's a nice run up. We managed to pick the low tide. So I think it was about a 0.4 or something like that. There's Amber. We just pulled up nice campsite. Now we're in zone two, so we're sort of closer up to the freshwater end. We like to camp up here just in case you got to go. You know, I mean we've got toilet in the van, but in case you need, you know, well it's closer for everything else anyway. So <laughs> Amber's shaking her head at me again. But um, so yeah, this is where we pulled up. Cruiser did well. Everything went really well on it. Um, got the rods on, so hopefully we can do a bit of fishing. A bit of sand. First bit of sand on the van, and it's somehow gone right up there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gone right up to the top of the van. But other than that, towed beautifully up the beach. So. I'm sort of guessing the whole van and car, we'd be looking close to that seven ton all up, so it did alright to get up the beach and, and do all that, so this is our view. How's that?
Okay, so we just pulled up, just unhooking the van now. So just thought a little tip for you. Um, in the sand and all that, we use a high lift jack base. So it seems to work really well, just, you know, spreads the area so you're not sinking down with the wheel. And then that way, when you go and hook back up again, it all, uh, all goes on. You're not using extra force or, you know, high lift jack to lift it up higher than you need to if it sinks down. So just a bit of a tip for you. So just going for a bit of a look. I've left Amber back at um, back at the at the van. So I'm just going out for a look, see if I can find some pippies for a bit of bait, so I can do a bit of fishing this afternoon. So there's a few that I saw on the way up, but I'm just going to head up, and um, we didn't want to pull over with the van. We just wanted to sort of get in, find a campsite, and get set up, so that way you know we had a good sight. So we're just going to head back down, and um, yeah. I'll see if I can get some, I'll show you what they look like, but they're really, really good bait for in the surf here. Alright, so this is what we're looking for, so I'm just driving along the beach and you just look for these things here, so it's hard to see, but you see a little bump in the sand, and yeah, what you do, dig it up, and look at that, that's what you call a pippy, so um, some people eat them, but what we do is you crack them open and you use them for bait. So they're excellent for bait so you know for all dart brim whiting especially in the surf here so hopefully we can catch something a bit later on We caught a few fish. Now I'll show you the uh, the fillets. So we got a little bit dart and brim here. So it's legal size. And then we got a big bag of fillets here. So big, good meal, just a dart. So it wasn't too bad. I think we caught what, about uh, 10, maybe 12 fish overall. So that was good. How nice is this? Their little setup. It's Amber in there, she's smiling. A little cooker on out here. What are we having? Um, what is it? Hamburger or cheese burger? Uh, like cheeseburger things. Yeah, a slab. A slab. I'm gonna try out the uh, oven. Yeah. Give it a go. Yep. How good's that? Another morning here. Just woken up. It's beautiful. It's what, about seven o'clock, something like that. The sun's just coming up. Sunset. Uh, sunrise this morning. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah. If you haven't been up here and woken up like this, you should definitely get up here. Just having me iced coffee. Watch the sun come up.
come over to the uh, rainbow beach side so you can see the sand way over there all the coloured sands and uh, I thought we'd pull up we got the brother come up for the day and mum and dad and the cruise there come up for a couple of days so yeah that's beautiful gonna have something to eat now and kick back loaves on the go. Little bread in there. Yum. <laughs> Battery system working beautifully with the with the inverter. So we're just done unhooking the van now, but I thought a uh, little tip for you is... Huh? I'm talking to this. <laughs> is it on? Yeah. 